What's up guys? I'm Ben and this is Kame Trick. It's a channel where we enjoy drifting both real and grassroots and in this short video I'm going to show you how to install mod cars and tracks into your PC version of Assetto Corsa. A lot of folks in the community have requested I make a video on this for uh, some time and most recently the one to finally push me over the edge and uh, make me commit the time to doing it is Racer K14. So if this helps you out then thumbs up to Racer K14. Let's get into it. A few quick things. If you're on console, then you are out of luck. Unfortunately, mods are only available for the PC version of Assetto Corsa, and it's one of the reasons why it's such a great platform to play the game on. If you are new into it, I highly recommend that you run it on PC if you have a PC that can do it. Now, in order to find mods, we're going to have to go to the internet. So you're going to open your browser of choice, and I'm going to show you a couple different sites that I recommend. So first up is acdriftingpro.com. As you can see, it is kind of organized around drifting and they've got cars, packs, which are groups of cars, tracks, tires, tools, all kinds of good stuff. Another site that you might want to check out is assettocorsa.club. It's got an even simpler layout than uh, the previous. And so it's just got a list of cars and a list of tracks. It also has a tool available called content manager, which I'm not going to be covering in this video, but I highly recommend you look into and consider using. Content manager is basically a way, as it sounds, to manage all of the mod content that's available. It's got a lot of great features. It has a free version that you can download, and then for a small donation, I think you can even choose the amount, whether it's one dollar or five. Uh, you can unlock content manager's full version and that's going to make it really easy to install mods and to know which mods you need to run on a given online server. But that is a video for another time. So assettocorsa.club has cars and tracks. And last but not least is racedepartment.com. Now looking through this website, you can see not a whole lot of drifting. It's more focused around grip racing, be that uh, F1 or GT style cars for sim driving. But in their download section here, they do have a number of drift cars and drift tracks as well. So let's grab a mod car and a mod track and toss it into Assetto so that we can see how this works. I'm gonna use AssettoCorsa.club to do that. I'm just gonna click on cars. And uh, you can scroll through and look at everything, but I'll just click on the drift filter here and we can see what they've got. And uh, first option here, I don't have this yet, is a Datsun 720KC drift truck, which is pretty rad. I am actually a huge fan of truck drifting, and uh, I recently dabbled in it a little bit at our drift school that we did a couple of uh, weeks ago. So I'll, I'll drop a card in, but uh, check that out when you're done with this video. Drifting trucks is actually super fun. Because of how long they are, they, they actually have a fair bit of stock angle. And although the steering is kind of wonky, they are a hoot. So we will download this. Uh, you're just going to click on the download link. And then in this case, it's going to take us to a uh, Google Drive download. There we go. Now let's go over to tracks. And I'll click on uh, drift again just to get us going. I've got Hapagahara. Okay. Um, well, let's see. Okay, here is Akagi Mountain Pass, and I am an Initial D fan. I love my Initial D, so let's pick up Akagi Mountain Pass as well, and we will download this. This is actually going to take us over to Race Department, so it was hosted there, and like I said, they do have some good content. You have to log in to download from Race Department. It's free, doesn't cost anything but your time, but uh, I'm already logged in, so I'm going to click Download Now and Save that content as well. Once the files download, which I just place them onto the desktop, they're going to be in uh, archived format. So we're going to open and unpack those with WinZip, WinRAR, whatever you want to use there. So I'm going to do that. Just drag them out onto the desktop for now. We don't need those anymore, so I'm going to delete them. All right, so we've got our uh, Datsun and we've got our Akagi Mountain Pass. Now we're ready to navigate to where on your computer we need to drop these two folders to make them playable in Assetto Corsa. And that is right here. So if you're on Steam like me, this is going to be the file path that you want to use. So you'll go through your main drive, Program Files x86, Steam, Steam Apps Common, and Assetto Corsa. From there, you're going to go into the Content folder 
and for your cars, you're going to drop them into the cars folder. So I'm just going to cut and paste the Datsun 720N. It's literally that simple. Then we're gonna back out of cars and go into tracks. Tracks is where you will put all of your tracks or road courses. So again, we'll just cut and paste that in. And that's all that we have to do. At this point, we are ready to open up Assetto Corsa and we're going to navigate to our new mod car and track so that we can check those out. Uh, as you can see, I have the 8.6 up on the drift track. I just finished doing an 8.6 video. I'll drop a card in for that as well. I do car reviews in addition to uh, these sorts of tutorials, so check that out and see if you like it. So we're going to click into here, uh, and already this is part of why it's hard to find all your mod cars. So like WDT is a mod, VDC is a mod, SP Mod Beta, Tando Buddies. Some of my mods are on, in here under unknown. This random cat is a uh, Nessox car pack. So if you are installing a lot of mods, it gets to be a real pain to figure out where you actually have to navigate to to load them. And one of the things that makes Assetto Corsa a content manager so great is it makes this way easier to find. But in this case, we've downloaded a Datsun. So we will pick it. And then for tracks, I'm just gonna see if I can get lucky and type in a Kagi. And I'd actually worked. So we'll pick a Kagi as well. And we are now ready to start the engine. Oh man, that is so cool. Dotson King Cab. So we'll click drive and there you have it. We've now got our mod car on a mod track and we are ready to shred. As you can see though, um, my rig is in the background and I'm not at it. So I'm not going to drive in this video. I just wanted to walk you through the process. I hope that this helps you guys out and if it does, I'd really appreciate it if you would leave a like. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below and check out these couple of uh, clips I'm going to throw up because in addition to a couple tutorials here and there in uh, sim drifting, I do car reviews and track reviews. And in real life, I also have an S13 that I've been drifting for well over 15 years. And uh, I go out and shred on a pretty regular basis in it as well. So it really is a merging of sim and IRL drifting. I hope that uh, if you're down for that, you'll please consider subscribing and check out my future videos as well. Have a good night, guys. Peace.